and uh, I welcome all the participants and the audience uh, in this particular session of two days uh, international conference on new vistas in language and literature teaching. I uh, wish all the very best to uh, the passionate researchers which are there. And uh, I invite, first of all, Dr. Chandra Stephan Praveen. Yes. And he is former principal Institute of Advanced Study in Education, Sister Kerala. Respected Chair, Namaskaram, uh, Vanakkam, no. good morning. Uh, uh, at the outset, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to present this paper. Uh, this, as you know, uh, is based on the theme Designing Contextual Curriculum for Language Teaching. Uh, this is the title of my paper, A Review of the Syllabuses, Language Across the Curriculum and Communicative English for the B.Ed. Courses. Okay, uh, I'll tell you briefly about the background, the problem, the uh, methods applied, about the course offered in Calicut and Kandur University Language Across the Curriculum, about the course offered in Communicative English for B.Ed. And finally, which is good, okay, whether LAC or Communicative English. Now, in 2015, there was a new directive by the National Council for Teacher Education that for all B.E. courses, language across the curriculum should be introduced. So in the curriculum, but in, in 2005 itself, in Calicut University, they had introduced a compulsory paper called Information Communication Technology and Communicative English. Now, uh, Calicut University in 2015 introduced language across the curriculum and they discontinued teaching ICT and communicative English. Okay, now I'm the investigator. I was a teacher education in a teacher training college. I was a chief examiner, a resource person for information and communication technology when it was introduced in 2005. Okay, now I was also the investigator and the teacher educator in Kannur University where language across the curriculum was taught. Earlier I mentioned Calicut University. Now what happened? After two years, Calicut University withdrew language across the curriculum. But Kannur University retained it. Naturally, you will be interested in knowing why it happened. See, they are supposed to follow the National Council of Teacher Education Director, but they are withdrawing the paper. So the background, I must tell you, language across the curriculum in America, that is where they introduced it first. Why? You can read it. Uh, to help the students in America develop the bilingual skills. Now, why was it introduced in India? To help teacher trainees familiarize with classroom discourses. It's, to put it simply, teaching other subjects in, in English. That is what uh, the National Council of Teachers has tried to do. Now, what was the problem? We all know Indian classrooms are multilingual in nature. And not only that, uh, for decades, we have the three language formula, which means all teachers know three languages. So if a teacher from South India is posted in North India also, he or she can manage. And there is a common cultural element in India. Now, but in American classroom, what is the problem? There are native speakers and the diaspora from across the world. For them, there is no common cultural element. So a teacher in India is comfortable, but not in America. But here you see, there is, when it is introduced, no orientation was given to teachers on how to teach the language across the curriculum paper. No orientation. Suddenly they said, okay, general paper teachers who have background in sociology, philosophy, psychology, they were asked to teach. No resources were unavail available. So what am I trying to find out? How was language across the curriculum transacted in colleges in Kannur University and Calicut? How did the teacher trainees receive it? What did I find? Informal interviews I did. And later I tried to compare it with the communicative English syllabus, which I had taught in 2006 to 2008. What did I find? Language across the curriculum, the teachers did not make the workshop mode. In Kannur University, the teacher educators in English transacted because there were a number of colleges were very few. And in every college, there was an English optional teacher. And trainees with background in vernacular medium when they are asked to teach language across the curriculum in, in, another, uh, in English because they had a vernacular medium education, they found it difficult. And you all know this is the kind of instruction. This then naturally it created stress for the trainees. Now, what about communicating English? It was more useful for prospective teachers. Why? It was focusing on communication skills. English is a growing world language. There was revision of basic grammar. There were opportunity for interact. Naturally, students develop their communication skills. And what is essential for a teacher who goes to teach? Communication skills. 
So what I'm suggesting is for future research, please try to integrate LAC and communicative English and come up with a good syllabus. So these are the references, a few references only because of time constraint. I've been very brief. So thank you very much. I'm ready to answer any questions. I've been very brief given the time constraint. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It was really an interesting uh, study and uh, it has come out of your experience, vast experience and uh, it started from 2005 and you are right, presenting this paper in 2021. It means that you have thought very deep on the topic and uh, the problems and you have offered the solutions and your take on that what, how should the communicative English should be taken and uh, especially when we are teaching across the curriculum in particular language. And you compared very well with the, you know, American culture and their setting in the real classroom situation with the real classroom situation in India where we have, uh, you know, cultural similarities and they have uh, diaspora coming from all over the globe. Wonderful, sir. I am uh, really very much impressed, but uh, uh, we are having short of time. I can understand your passion and I can really smell that how original spices of your experiences are involved in this research. Thank you so much.